è difficile dimenticare una It's una difficult gara, to forget a race like that. È stata la ciglia Harry Rubey was the icing on the cake of an important eh, year for me. È stato una grandissima It was a wonderful feeling after a lifetime of sacrifice di, and commitment. Di sacrifici, di impegno. Everyone could see my tears, my joy, because it was the race that was missing from my CV. There had been a lot of expectation since I was young. In October 2021, Italian rider Sonny Carbrelli secured the biggest win of his career at Paris-Roubaix. But those unforgettable post-race scenes would take on a different feel just six months later at the Volta a Catalunya after he finished second on stage one. When I crossed the finish line, I went looking for my team, my doctor, my masseur. I remember drinking some water and, and then everything went black. I woke up in a hospital bed with a lot of doctors, nurses and all the team managers around me. I could tell from their eyes that they weren't happy. It was at that moment I realized something bad had happened to me. Those who were watching on television, especially my family, they thought I was dead when they saw the white screen. They were awful moments. Sonny had suffered an unstable cardiac arrhythmia and was fitted with a defibrillator on his return home. Italian law does not permit athletes to compete with the life-saving device, so the 32-year-old was forced to call time in his career. Normally, when a rider chooses to end their career, they're psychologically ready. They say, OK, this is my last year. For me, it all happened unexpectedly. I wasn't ready. Even today, it's difficult for me to accept that I'm not there anymore, in the middle of the group. To help Sonny make the transition into retirement, his team, Bahrain Victorious, have retained him in an ambassadorial role. The worst moment was in December, when I went to the first training camp with the team. I arrived at the hotel, and my name was no longer on the riders' room list. It's not easy to watch them taking part in races from my car on the roadside. My life has changed a lot during this past year. I can still give a lot to cycling. I can still pass on my experience to the younger riders who are competing on the world tour or who are tackling the classics, the monuments. Winning in cycling today is really tough, but I tell the youngsters to never stop dreaming because I was able to win Paris-Roubaix at 31 years of age rather than at 21 or 22 like they're doing today. It made me even prouder to win it over the age of 30. 